The archer is a weapon which belongs to the future. A close second in ultimate weapons hierarchy of heavy metal is the Swedish-built Archer, a development of the Bofors artillery cannon mounted on a Volvo-articulated hauler. Um, Archer is one of a new generation of artillery systems, but of course at a much lower weight. So it's trying to um, get a new handle on the old uh, triangle of mobility, firepower and protection. The key about artillery is you can use it pretty much 24 hours a day in all weathers. The weather can be a formidable enemy. This was shown during the first days of Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, when a heavy dust storm stopped advancing forces in their tracks. Artillery doesn't care about dust. It doesn't care about cloud. You can fire it the whole time. The Archer has been specifically designed to cope with the most extreme weather and ground conditions. There is a demand that the system should be able to operate wherever the Swedish armed forces has their troops. Well, the Archer is built to uh, actually operate in all kind of weathers. Uh, we could operate in snow uh, as well as in, in sand or desert uh, environment. Archer also meets the need for speed on the modern battlefield. The difference between the conventional artillery and the archer system is the rapid deployment. The older artillery, it takes a very long time to deploy, about 10 to 15 minutes. And the archer system, it is possible to deploy in 30 seconds. The Archer is built on a six-wheel drive armored truck with a top speed of around 55 miles an hour, giving it the ability to shoot and scoot. Deploy, deliver your load, and then get out as fast as you can. In just 30 seconds, the Archer's stabilizing legs are extended and the gun is raised and ready for action. Everything is operated from the cabin, from the operator's seat. This means it only takes a minimal crew to load, aim, and fire the archer. A conventional howitzer requires maybe a crew of 10. For archer, it's maximum four. It can actually be operated by just one. It's qualified to handle and fire all conventional 155 millimeter ammunition, more or less, including uh, sensor-fused munition, uh, such as Bonus. Bonus is a spin-stabilized artillery shell containing two top-attack sensor-fused sub-munitions. You tell where it goes, and it will go there. And the Archer boasts a seriously impressive rate of fire. The rate of fire of the Archer artillery system is somewhat eight to nine rounds a minute. A 21-round magazine is emptied in less than two and a half minutes with a range of up to 25 miles for conventional ammunition and more than 30 with Excalibur. If you can come out of basically nowhere, come from hiding, stop, deploy, fire and get out, that is absolutely ideal. High rate of fire is, is important for, for an artillery system since uh, you would like to deliver suppression fire for the forces that you are supporting. If you, if you have a, a high amount of shells in the target in a short time frame, you will increase the effect in the target. Archer is marrying up a number of features, specifically the mobility and lighter weight of a truck compared to a, a heavy armoured self-propelled system. You have strategic mobility and tactical mobility, but without the weight penalty. Also MRSI capable, Archer combines the best of rapid deployment, rate of fire, and mobility of any system we've seen so far. So, what could possibly top this? It's the result of centuries of evolution in artillery hardware. Artillery has been a player on the battlefield for hundreds of years. 